Hello, my name is Ben Wolfson. I'm going to show you how to use Synergy Mac Repertory as a research tool. We're going to be using the search function, and in particular a search called Remedy and Words. Now this search, Remedy and Words, can be used for a broad range of comparative materia medica research like extractions or finding out what is unique about a specific remedy. But in this case, I just want to demonstrate fairly briefly how to use it to do uh, some uh, group analysis research. Group analysis made popular by Dr. Rajan Sankran and shown in his series of books on the insight into plants. So let's go down to the box itself. What we find is that there's remedies and words. We're just going to be using the remedy side. So we'll go across over here and we see there's choose. That is a way in which one can choose which remedies one would like to select. Uh, this shows the selection that I've previously selected just to shave time. But here we can see all the remedies. You can select from these abbreviations here. The selection of ones that I've put in so far. I'm just going to OK that. Alternatively, if you know what you need to type in or you know what is the abbreviation. You can just type it in, put a slash afterwards, and keep on adding the remedies. I've added in seven remedies from the Magnolid order of plants, and I've what I've put in is I would like to now work out, I'd like to do a group analysis of these this botanical order to see what is common, what, what is a are there common themes that come out from this particular order of plants. So the next part that we need to look at is where it says here match at least. So this means match at least one remedy from a uh, one of the se seven selected uh, in order for a rubric to be chosen up. This can be changed and it can be made to, for instance, it will come up as default by showing all. Uh, that is quite a, a severe restriction, so I'm going to reduce that to four. So at least four remedies should come up in our analysis to uh, select a rubric or for, or for that particular rubric to be included in the analysis. Here we've got ways of controlling the, the grade and uh, selecting according to different grades, um, but that's used more in comparative materia medica where we are doing extractions and so forth. So we won't be using that now. We're just going to leave them all selected. When we come down here, we need to now look at how many remedies we're going to choose in the rubric. Uh, the more remedies we choose, and by default it comes up with any number, um, the more general the analysis will be. We'd like to make it a bit more specific, so I'm going to reduce it to 100 uh, or less. Uh, it'll only consider rubrics that have got 100 or less remedies uh, in them. The section, we can look at this as well. So when, by default, it'll come up with um, the, the whole repertory will be searched, but we could, uh, we could restrict the selection to a particular chapter of the repertory. So in this case, I'm going to want to keep it on mind, and it will stay there. This tells us that it will send it to clipboard A, and by ticking this, is it will make sure that the clipboard is emptied before one does the analysis. Otherwise, if there are rubrics already in the clipboard, the analysis remedies will be added to them. Okay, um, over here I've left out is the repertories. This means we can select specific repertories. By default, it will be the repertory we have open at the moment, which in my case was the complete 2017 repertory. Okay, so we're ready to go across now and do the search, the search on these magnolids, where it would needs to show up at least uh, four of them should be in the rubric for that rubric to be considered. And... The, they should, the rubrics should be no larger than having 100 remedies in them to exclude the more general rubrics. 
The repertory is the complete repertory because that is the one by default we have open. And we're restricting to the section on mind, sending it to clipboard A and asking it to empty the clipboard prior to placing the rubrics there. So now we can go across to the search and it's busy going through the process and it's telling us that it's found 39 rubrics in the mind section of the complete repertory that meet the criteria that we've... Okay, so now we can... Initially these will be just placed in the order of the chapters in the repertory and um, we can even just having a look in this order we can see that there's quite a lot of confusion, daydreaming, delirium, delusions, dreams, dullness, uh, etc. So it's starting to give us an idea of perhaps what the magnolids are about. But we can place this, we can sharpen up the way the results are presented by going to rubrics and sorting these rubrics. And in this case, we want to sort out the rubrics according to the number of remedies. So what that will do is it will put the smaller remedies towards the top. So those are the kind of more specific remedies, if you like it. So again here we see a lot of stupefaction, delusions, delusions, dreams, confusion, uh, delusions, imaginations, etc. Seems to be a lot arranged, uh, seems to be quite a lot around childbirth as well. Okay, so that is basically how one does a, a group analysis uh, on Mac repertory and one would look at these rubrics here to get a view on what are the general themes of that particular group that you've analyzed. Thank you very much.